Welcome back. The Anne Arundel County Police Department would like to take the opportunity to make citizens aware of a possible theft scheme and provide tips to avoid becoming a victim. Joining us now is Public Information Officer Justin Mulcahy with further details on this investigation. Justin. Thanks, Tracy. Within the past month, the Anne Arundel County Police Department's Southern District has been made aware of two incidents involving an individual who targets the elderly. It was door to door, unsolicited, to offer to perform driveway paving. This individual reports that he's working for a Maryland paving company performing work in the area, that he has materials nearby, and he gives verbal estimates only to homeowners, not anything other than verbal. In one incident on April 20th at a residence in Annapolis, the suspect never provided the 75-year-old male victim with a written estimate. He returned with the crew to finish the driveway and demanded a higher amount of payment than originally discussed. In a second similar incident on April 27th in Lothian, the same suspect made contact with the 79-year-old male homeowner, discussed a possible estimate, and then left for a period of time. That suspect returned with eight other individuals and began paving the driveway without permission. The suspect then charged the victim a much larger fee than previously discussed, as in the other incident. Now, through the investigation, detectives have spoken to additional residents describing similar circumstances where they refused to allow the suspect to perform work because he would not provide a written estimate, which is the right thing to do. Detectives have since identified a suspect. That suspect is Tommy Edward Clack, age 39, with an address of 1008 Ridgewood Drive in North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Now, it's important to point out that Clack also has ties to the Annapolis area and may still be in the area. After consultation with the state's attorney's office, there are currently three open arrest warrants charging Clack with theft, operating without a home improvements business license, along with making false statements to a law enforcement officer. Clack is also known to use the last name of Clark instead, and is also known to operate a 2010 red Chevrolet Silverado pickup truck that bears North Carolina plates. The vehicle may at times display a magnetic sign that says Maryland Asphalt Paving Company. Clack may also be accompanied by a second red pickup truck, and as a reminder, he may also be going by the last name of Clark. Anyone with information on this suspect or with any inquiries about the scam is asked to contact Detective Mark Audi of the Southern District Detectives at 410-222-1960. And the public is encouraged to follow the following guidelines when considering hiring anyone for a home improvement project or when encountering problems with the service. First and foremost, get at least three estimates from at least three different contractors. Check and verify all references supplied by that contractor. It's important to shop around. Also doesn't hurt to research. Verify that the contractor is licensed in the state of Maryland and or locally. And you can do so by contacting your local chamber of commerce or visit the Maryland Department of Labor Licensing and Regulation for confirmation. Also remember, know the difference between proposals, which are estimated costs, and contracts, which are specified costs. Be sure the contract describes the services to be performed, lists the materials to be used, and includes a starting and expected completion date. Also ask for a written guarantee or guarantee with your contract. Be cautious of companies that require advance payments or cash only. You can also contact the Better Business Bureau to file any complaints for any non-delivery of services or check with them ahead of time to see if there were prior complaints filed. Also. To file a consumer complaint, you can contact the Maryland Attorney General Consumer Protection Division for the non-delivery of services. And remember, folks, as a general rule of thumb, if it seems too good to be true, guess what? It probably is. Now, as always, if you have any information on anything that we mentioned on the show, don't hesitate to call, email, or text your tip to Metro Crime Stoppers Hotline. That number is available 24 hours a day, toll-free at 1-866-7-LOCKUP. You can also text message MCS plus your message to crimes at 274637 or visit the website at www.metrocrimestoppers.net. Remember, phone calls are not recorded and callers remain anonymous. You might even be eligible for a cash reward of up to $2,000. Back to you, Tracy. Thank you, Justin. And this week's Community Spotlight, Mark Chang, tells us about an organization that collects furniture and food for the needy. Mark. I'm here on this beautiful day in May out in Linthicum over at the St. Philip Neary Parish Center parking lot. And with me today, I have Leo Zerhusen, who is the founder of Hope for All, a nonprofit organization helping families throughout Anne Arundel County with furniture and also clothing needs. And also I have Leslie Pruitt, who is a director of external relations for Opportunity Builders, Inc. in Millersville. And also Miss Megan Gibbs, 
who is on the steering committee for the Young Entrepreneur Professional Group in Anne Arundel County that's hosting a fundraiser to help support Hope for All. And she's also a program director over at Opportunity Builders, Inc. First of all, I'd like to start with Leslie. Leslie, can you tell us about how you're partnering for Hope for All? Absolutely. What we are doing, because we provide work for adults with developmental disabilities, which means we provide vocational training and employment services for individuals with developmental disabilities, we are partnering with Hope for All in that we are volunteering with Hope so that our individuals are gaining vocational training and preparing for the job market. So we go over to Hope um, one day a week for about three hours with an enclave, which means uh, about four to five individuals with a job coach and they fulfill tasks like folding clothes, sorting clothes, bagging clothes um, for Hope. Leslie, I just want to thank you for all the work that you do in the, this community, the mainstream community, also with the developmental disabled folks in our community. For folks out there who would like to get more information about OBI, how can they get more information? They can either call us at 410-787-0700 or they can go to our website at obiworks.org and they can see our um, video on the website and also learn more details about Opportunity Builders. Great. Thanks, Leslie. I'd like to jump over to Leo now. Leo, I know you've been our tireless fighter in this community up in this northern part of the county and us being neighbors, I see this Hope for All vehicle always out in the community. It's uh, How long is this trailer? The trailer is about 15 feet. Okay, and you also have a van attached to it? The van's attached to it, which is also about 15 feet. <laughs> okay. And we fill it with furniture that we can take to families and children within our county who are struggling during these difficult times. And also we use it to help the school system by delivering clothing and needed items, school supplies for children who are also at a disadvantage with the current economic conditions. Leo, for folks out there who want to get involved and be able to help Hope for All, how can they help out? Well, we're always looking for good, young, strong bodies to do the lifting and carrying because we have to pick up the furniture, then deliver it. So we're always looking for these volunteers during the week or on weekends. We have ladies that work over at the warehouse sorting. Uh, we always can use people to come over and help sort. We're always looking for donations of yard sale items that have a decent value to them. That's one of the main ways that we currently raise our funds, especially with the current price of gasoline going up and stuff like that. Uh, they can call us at 410-859-1297, uh, or they can visit our website, www.hopeforall.us. Great. Thanks, Leo. And thanks for all the work you do out here. And we enjoy seeing you out in the community and serving these families. As you mentioned, you know, in this current economic uh, condition that we're going through as we continue to recover, it's great to have partners like this organization out there fighting for the people out there and fighting for the families out there. Well, thank thank you. you. I'd like to go over now to Miss Megan Gibbs. How are, you, how are you doing, Megan? Very well. How are you? Great. I know, Megan, that you're involved in a lot of different things in the community and outside of your being a program director at OBI, you're also part of the steering committee over at the Young Entrepreneurs and Professionals Group for Anne Arundel County. How are you all teaming up with uh, Hope for All in helping them out? Um, well, actually, we will be having a wine tasting uh, at OBI on the 25th of May. Um, and this year, we've taken on Hope as our um, charity to sponsor. And when we were deciding which charity, we kind of went, went through a few um, organizations that we knew and that we had partnered with. And uh, uh, Hope for All was a na very natural selection for us simply because of um, the OBI connection on my part. And um, a lot of the members on the steering committee have heard of Hope and really wanted to get back to the community. And we felt like Hope is doing that. And so we wanted to support them. And through OBI, we figured we'd be marrying two organizations together as well as YEP. So it's been a very natural uh, selection for us and we're excited to be sponsoring them and supporting them um, so come out it's $25 and there will be networking and wine tasting at the OBI facility in uh, Millersville Maryland on May 25th from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock so. for those out there who are the young and young at heart who want to be part of the young entrepreneurs professionals group how can they get in more more information about that um, we have an email address it's yep N A. A C C C. Sorry about that. At gmail.com, or you can feel free to give me a call at 410-787-0700 and just ask for Megan. Great, Megan. I just want to thank you for coming on the show. And Leslie, it's great to see you again. And also, Leo, it's always great to see you. 
the Office of Community Constituent Services works with all three of these organizations and we enjoy the partnership that we see and the collaboration that we see with these organizations out there in the community. You know, we're all in this together and it's good to see, especially during these times, that we're all working together and collaborating, sharing resources and being able to help each other out as neighbors. So if you heard a lot of information here and if you want to get any more information and try to get in contact with these groups, you can always contact the Office of Community and Constituent Services and that's at 410-222 one two four two back to you in the studio thanks mark